Okay, hey, welcome back. This is the third and final part of the series. Now we get to do our emergency practice and our approach practice. So the emergency we've been assigned is engine failure. Here are the area, perform the engine failure checklist to see if I had you memorize. For example, convert to best light airspeed, identify best field to land in, simulate squawk 7500. I think my tool said to squawk 7500. That's not what it should be. It should, should be 7700. I need to fix that. <laughs> I am only human, okay? I make mistakes. Squawk 7500. Boy, good thing you, don't, you definitely don't want to practice squawking 7500. That's not... <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, squawking 7500 means you've been, you've been hijacked. It's not... You don't want to say that. It, like, you don't. That's a different type of reaction from, <laughs> from ATC than if you're just having an emergency. 7700 is an emergency, 7600 is a radio comm failure, 7500 is a hijack. It's important not to screw those up. <laughs> Mayday call, attempt to restart the engine and prepare the aircraft for force landing. We're going to be doing a rapid version of this because we're going to be simulating the engine failure right now. Um, at 1,500 feet, which leaves us not much time for any of that stuff. So, um, ideally, right now, I'm focusing on grabbing my best airspeed. And right Alert. now, I just see Obstacle a ahead. pretty perfect road to land on. So, best airspeed is going to be right around 80 knots. And then we can trim down and try and capture that. I already see a good road to land on. Um, I would have been tuned to Conroe Tower, so I would just say Conroe Tower, Cherokee 1A00 Tango, Mayday, 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 Mayday south of the, southwest of the airfield, going down in the land on I-45, looks like. And I would uh, squawk 7700. I would make sure the mixture's rich, check the carb heat, um, check the magnetos, um, change fuel tanks, and uh, try and turn over the engine to get her to turn back on. Um, provided she turns on, great, full throttle explain the situation, probably have to file some paperwork, but that's fine. Um, assuming not, uh, we'd do some things, open the door, secure the aircraft for landing, cut the mixture, turn off all the electrical equipment, turn off the avionics. But right now, we are safe. We got the engine back on, and we can go ahead and continue our flight back to hopes. Climb back up to 1500. Anyway, we're flying back to Hooks now. We're going to be doing a approach, and uh, we're going to be doing a soft field landing, and just just a normal landing. So land while keeping your nose wheel off the field as long as possible. Reduce the pressure on the nose gear at all times. Okay. So we would uh, tune to tower. Again, I'm not going to fuss with the, the frequencies right now. We're going to tune to tower. We'd say Hooks Tower, Cherokee 1800 Tango, seven miles northeast inbound for a full stop landing. And they would say, Cherokee 1800 Tango, Hooks Tower. Enter a left downwind runway 35 left, clear to land. Cherokee 18, uh, clear to land. And I would say, clear to land, Cherokee. Clear to land, 35 left, enter a left downwind for Cherokee 1800 Tango. Now I'm cleared in the airspace, and in I go. So as we get in, we can do the approach checklist. So our approach briefing is complete. Turn our fuel pump, fuel selector, Fullest tank, I actually just switched before cameras, so we're on the fullest tank. I, I switched off camera, so we're on the fullest tank. Mixture is rich, we can go ahead and turn our wing lights on. Car feet's not required, seat belts are fast, and flaps is required in terms of set. Again, we're going to be doing a soft field landing, hopefully. So, what I like to do in four flight is I like to have my destination in here. I go to procedure, traffic pattern, runway 35 left, and uh, we're doing the left traffic. We do a cross the field direct right there. Just so that way I have some type of visual reminder of what an appropriate traffic pattern would look like. <laughs> and it's not necessary, but uh, it's especially when you can just look out your window. But when flying a flight sim, it can help just to have something you can look down to remind you of where you are in, re in respect to the runway you're trying to land on. Also, let's not forget, um, a flight sim 
with the right tool for ForeFlight, it's, it's that, so that way you can connect it into ForeFlight. It's a great tool to practice using ForeFlight. So, uh, highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and enter the left down one here for 135. All right, mixture's rich, highlights on, fuel pumps on. We are cleared to land, we're ready to go. So, we're already inside the white arc. Let's go ahead and drop the first notch flaps. All right, we're still a little slow. We're sorry, we're still a little fast. Overshot. That right, has a good speed. Just trying to keep the nose up. Right. And we can exit the runway. Okay, clear the runway, throw a parking brake. After landing a checklist, flaps come up, mixture lean is required, lane lights can come off, fuel pump can come off, trim we set back to neutral. And now we'd uh, change over to tower, we'd say hook, or sorry, over to ground, we'd say hooks ground, Cherokee 1800 Tango's uh, clear of uh, 3 5 left at, where are we? At Golf, taxi to parking, and they would say Cherokee 1800 Tango taxi to parking via Foxtrot Echo. Thanks for parking by a box for Echo, Tricky 1800 Tango. And away we go. And then that is the end of this short series, demonstrating maybe not the best piloting skills, but how you can actually reinforce the procedures and processes that you'll be going through in the real world in a flight sim. And doing this more and more, the more you do it, the more natural it will become to do things in the airplane. And eventually you'll get to the point where it's actually... Um, really really natural in the airplane um, and you'll you'll want to um, do different things in the sim uh, to challenge yourself maybe practicing crosswind techniques uh, di different techniques for handling different scenarios um, that you just find that you have difficulty with in real life um, it's been super helpful for me I strongly recommend it and again you can check out the tool go to flightsim101.com and uh, just click on the generate button bottom right or you can go to scenario generator.flightsim101.com and it just spits one out for you no matter what. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and park over here where the imaginary hangars are, <laughs> where they would be in real life. And uh, let me know if you want more content like this. Uh, I do plan on putting some more flight sim content out there as well as real world flying content. Um, and if you live in the Houston area, have an airplane, or have a passion for flying, or just want to go flying, let me know. I'd love to take you up. If I can. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Let's power off. All right. Go to our checklist here. Avionics off. Lights are all off. Throttle is retarded. Mixture cut off. Set off. Ignition off. 
See you later. Thanks for watching.